So I was walking through the hall, but I tripped. And my pencil and my paper went everywhere. I picked them up, put them in my backpack, and go on to class. Let's look at the physics behind this react behind this incident. First, the paper and pencil. When they fell, they were pushed outward, which caused them to become a projectile. When they fell, two things were acting on them, gravity and air resistance. Gravity pushes down on them and tries to pull them down to the ground. Air resistance is the force that pushes up on them and tries to resist gravity's pull. Now, gravity is greater than air resistance and is always 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. This pencil has less air resistance on it than this piece of paper because this piece of paper has more surface area. Now, also, another thing that happened was when I went to pick up my pencil and paper, you might think I was doing work, picking them up. But work is what happens when you pick something up using a force, and, mo and the force has to be in the same direction as the object's motion. When I picked these up, I might have been using an upward force, but I wasn't moving them a distance so I didn't do any work. Another thing that acted on it was on my pencil when it fell it rolled. This is called rolling friction and it happens when an object it's a friction that happens on a rolling object. Also when I put these objects in my backpack and take my backpack by the straps to go to class a force acts on this on the strings of the backpack called tension. This is when a force pull, tries to pull the backpack down and the strings have to resist it. Well, let's hope I don't drop my stuff too much. I wouldn't want to have to explain all this all over again.